from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday stump stories after a businessman posted a video on social media recently complaining about police citing him for a coronavirus violation. Reporters asked Police Commissioner Roll whether officers have been using excessive force when citing businesses found in breach of the COVID rules. The commissioner told the media that he's aware of the latest video, but he says except for a few cases which they've dealt with, officers have done a good job and the recent criticism is unfair. We don't go out of our way to try to cause any unnecessary uh, hardship or embarrassment to people. But we simply ask people to let us abide by these uh, protocols that have been put in place so that this is for the betterment of everybody. The business owner in this recent incident was cited for loud music. There were almost 5,000 violations of the COVID-19 rules last year, and the commissioner says as long as this lasts, there's only one message for business owners and the general public who may want to break the rules. I would ask those people not to to attempt to open, because if they do, then uh, we have a, a duty to shut them down. We don't want to do that, but if you test us, then we will do. That comes as more businesses are getting ready to open after getting the green light from the competent authority. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Still waiting for the corona vaccine to get in country. No clear indication when that will be yet. So health officials continue to monitor the confirmed cases numbers. Ten more on Tuesday spread over five islands, five of them in the capital. In the hospital, 13 persons, four of them now in intensive care. No other deaths have been reported. Works Minister Deputy Prime Minister Bannister hitting that there's going to be changes made at the Water and Sewage Corporation, including an increase in rates and elimination of free water. The minister says they have no choice but to, in his words, drag the utility company into the 21st century. Engliston MP Hannah Martin among those objecting to proposed rate increases. She says it'll hurt far too many people. Water rates have not been increased in more than 20 years. More candidates being announced by both the PLP and the FNM. The PLP has selected Miles LaRota to run in Pinewood. Ending speculation, the party may make some kind of deal with House Speaker Moultrie, who recently resigned from the FNM. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area now. Partly sunny, breezy, passing shower, warm. Highs from the low to mid-80s, 82 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 84 at Matthew Town. Caution flags up for boaters. Winds getting up to 20 knots. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. Low tide now. The next higher on 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous year. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. And with more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines. Major weather issues continue for the U.S. Another major winter storm is moving through that country, dumping more snow over areas that already had snow on the ground. Millions of persons remain without electricity, most of them in the state of Texas. That weather is causing travel issues in the U.S. and delaying the COVID-19 vaccine rollout effort. Changes expected by the weekend. Britain's Prince Philip has been admitted to hospital. He was complaining of not feeling well. It's not believed to be related to COVID. The prince is 99. Civil disobedience continues in Myanmar. As citizens of that country continue to protest against the military takeover there. Tribune's gas striker prices shell 437, SO439, Rubus $4.39 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Despite COVID, 
We have a basketball team in Puerto Rico for a tournament there. Read the details in the Tribune Sports. Major League Baseball spring training starting this week. The Tribune Sports talking with Jazz Chisholm, who's looking to start for the Marlins. Get the latest NBA news and an update on DeAndre Ayton and the Suns and the status of this year's Family Allen Regatta. Australian Open tennis update, Serena Williams loses in the semifinals. Read the details in the Tribune Sports Thursday. All your sports details. You want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.